I am a Jedi Master. Hey, what is up guys? Morgan Man 4 here back with another modded Monday. And today's mod showcase, I will be showcasing the lightsabers mod by Fisk Phil, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And so this is a really neat mod. Um I actually uh, looked uh, up lightsaber mods because, or like Star Wars mod, something like that, because I've been rewatching a lot of the Star Wars movies and stuff, watching a lot of Star Wars stuff lately. Yes, I'm quite a nerd. And, yeah, so I've been really getting into it again. I uh, was into it a long time ago and I've been getting into it again. So I'm like, let's do Star Wars mod for Minecraft. Let's showcase it. So here we are. And this mod is really quite cool because it, it's very simple but it adds in some really neat stuff so obviously you have your lightsabers and then it adds in a couple of other force abilities for you to use so what I'm going to do is mostly showcase this in survival oh dear I am hungry uh, let's just give myself some steak eat that up there oh right so uh, there aren't very many crafting recipes, from what you can see, only these two chests have crafting recipes, and then there's three crafting recipes total in this mod. So, uh, they're very quite important because they allow you to craft the lightsabers. So, you have the bottom lightsaber piece, the upper lightsaber piece, and then you have the crystal. So, to craft the bottom lightsaber piece, you need three iron ingots, one glowstone dust, and two obsidian. And for the upper lightsaber piece, you need six iron ingots along the sides, a glass in the middle, and redstone down at the bottom. And here, this is where you create your lightsaber crystals. Uh, there are six different colors of lightsabers you can get. These are red, yellow, purple, white, green, and blue. Uh, but in the actual uh, Star Wars movies and like the Clone Wars series, you don't ever see a yellow lightsaber or a white lightsaber. They're just there for fun. And so pretty much what I have here is four diamonds because that's how you craft all of these. And then beside each color of the crystal, I have the die that corresponds with it that you will put in the middle. So if you wanted to have purple lightsaber crystal, you put four diamonds with purple die in the middle. If you want a white lightsaber crystal, you put four diamonds with bone meal in the middle, etc, etc. And so now here they are, all the different lightsabers. So they all act exactly the same. The only difference is their color. So they're, yeah. Uh, so you can choose which color you like. And so you are not able to use any force abilities if you're not holding a lightsaber. But once you hold a lightsaber, as you can see uh, up in the left upper left corner there, it says force level and jump level. And on these signs here, you may have been wondering what they're saying. These are all like this force abilities. So the first one I'm going to show you is force jump, which is using space. And as I said, to use force abilities, you have to be holding a lightsaber. So what you do is hold space and you jump really high. It's really cool. And actually you'll notice that I am prevented from taking fall damage at all. So what can be really annoying though is if you're just trying to make a tiny jump you see how high that uh, for, er, the jump level bar goes up. It goes up quite a bit. And you may have noticed the entire force level bar just uh, filled with green there. That's because I was recharged. You hold shift to recharge your force level. Jumping doesn't use any force level, which is why I was able to do it when the force level was depleted. But everything else uses uh, at least some degree of um, force level. But yeah, so if you're just trying to do a tiny jump, it can get annoying, or you're trying to do multiple jumps at once, because it'll boost you up really high. But when you are wanting to make a really high jump, it's really useful. Because I can jump all the way up here in like two jumps, whereas before it would take me many jumps at a time. Yeah, and actually I realized I should have showcased off the lightsabers first. And what's really neat is when you turn like you turn it on and turn it off again, it actually has the lightsaber sound. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't have the hum while you're just holding it, just when you turn it on and off. But you simply right click, turn it on, and then right click again to turn it off. And when it's on, it acts just like the sword. So here's the blue, here's the red, here's the yellow, here's the purple, here's the white. So there you have all of them, and 
So yeah, it looks pretty darn cool. And as I said, they all act practically the same. Did not mean to jump up there. So, here we go. Have a couple of villagers to test this out. So, as you can see, it does 13 damage with only, like, one hit. Oh, dear. So, it's a pretty fast killer. That is pretty darn awesome. And... So, yeah, you can destroy with your lightsaber. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the other force abilities. Uh, let's just get rid of all but one. All but one lightsaber. I'm going to use the purple lightsaber, just for fun. And so, alright, I already showed you the force recharge and force jump. Next, let's showcase the force hold. Did not mean to jump there. So, when you are near a mob... This works, uh, ooh, I accidentally looked over the lightsaber. Um, this works with any mob, as far as I'm aware. And you look at the mob, you press F, and if you're close enough to them, it'll do a force thing. Sometimes it doesn't seem to want to work. For example, right now. Come on. What are you doing for us? Why won't you work? I don't understand why it's not working. Um, okay, there are a couple of like cows over here. Maybe if I try it on the cow. I don't know if that would make any difference, but I know it works on villagers. I don't know why it's not doing anything. There we go. So, see, I have that cow picked up. And so, unfortunately, um, it seems to be sort of buggy. I mean, it can move really fast. You'll, like, let go, and also if you, like, put them against the ground, sometimes you'll let go. But the only thing, it, it, what disappoints me is, I did not mean to jump there, come on, stupid jump. What really disappoints me is you can't, like, chuck the mobs flying. You can just sort of drag them and drop them. So you can drop your enemies at the death, your, their death. Unfortunately, you can't, like, force choke them or anything. You can't force lightning them. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay, there we go. Now it's working with this stupid villager. What took you so long? So, you can drop your enemies over a cliff. So there you have that. Uh, next here is Force Sprint. So, if you sprint and press C, you'll just zoom forward and you'll do actually quite a bit of damage, but it uses up like all your force level. And I missed that guy. So it actually it actually looks like really awesome. Just speed up suddenly, and you destroy everything in your path. So I'm going to F5. Okay, that's a charge. Oh, that didn't attack all those other ones. Shoot. There we go. That looks pretty darn boss. Kill all these random players at once with my purple lightsaber force thing in my barber. And finally, we have the Force Block. Uh, this is the final Force ability in this, and once again, you have to be holding the lightsaber. So, if I set the time to night... Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, Force Block is the only one of these that does not work if your lightsaber is retracted. You have to have it out like this. And you need a skeleton or something that can shoot at you for this. If I have Force Level, if you get it just right, maybe... I won't die. Okay, well I did die because I suck at this. But uh, what happens is if you can get the aiming right and everything, you're able to block the arrow. And I'll try to showcase. That's what I, I was trying to showcase that for you. I'm trying to do it. Give me. Okay, my lightsaber that works too. Force level recharge X. Okay. Problem is you have a power bow too, and it takes. Take it so much. So you can't be like, just, oh, okay, there we go, I blocked it there. So you can't just be like holding it because it takes up so much. And I died again. I really need to set my spawn point there. So that's the one problem with it because it takes it all, like, your uh, uh, force ability away, like, right away. And it, um, sometimes, if you just get it off, then. Well, you're pretty much screwed when it comes to your skeleton, especially if he is an enchanted bow. Okay, come on. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. No, come on. Smash spawn point there. No, maybe. Retardedly far off. Come on. There we go. Again. Um in the past I have been able to get it so that I can like knock it back and actually hit the skeleton itself. But yeah. So that is pretty much the Star Wars, or not Star Wars, sorry, excuse me, uh, Lightsaber mod. Really quite cool. If you're a fan of Star Wars, uh, I would recommend you go download this right now. It's a really awesome mod. Uh, so yeah, go check it out in the link description, or in the description, go check out the link down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, a rating, comment, and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated, whichever you feel necessary. And please don't forget to leave in the comments below your suggestions for what I should showcase, which mod I should showcase next. So, uh, Mergman 4, over and out, and I will see you guys later.